Week four of the Miami Herald Fitness Challenge brings the dreaded weigh-in. From workouts at the crack of dawn to sweating it out after a long day at work, Lizette, Andy, and Glenn have stepped up to the challenge with the help of their trainers, Michelle, Nick, and Jason, for almost a month. So, has their hard work paid off? Let's see what the scale has to say. It's not true. Yeah, I think that's optimistic there. Yeah, you're, you're more weight than one. <laughs> That's what I, I, I Yeah, that was. How'd it go? I gained 40 pounds since this morning. <laughs> he hasn't even worked out. 162. Okay, so it's obvious Lizette is happy with her numbers. So today at the weigh in, Lizette has lost four pounds, which I'm very happy about. I felt great to see four pounds less on that scale. And, uh, you know, last week was a little bit harder because I hadn't seen any improvements yet. And so just this kind of just keeps, gives me that, like, momentum that I need to keep going. What about Glenn? All right. So then after the weigh-in, Glenn lost an additional three pounds. Uh, so that takes us up to a total of eight pounds total since he's started with me. Uh, he's doing great. He hasn't missed a workout with me yet. He's come in every day on his own. I think he only missed, since we started, one day of, of working out period. So he's doing fantastic. It looks easy. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I think he's going to shock the world. Uh, he's he's doing great so far. And like I said, you know, he couldn't even do two minutes on the elliptical, and now he's up to 15. I, I, don't, I don't think any of the three of us look dramatically different yet. The weight loss is not really uh, it's, it's just a number on a, on a scale right now. The, the other stuff feels a lot more real to me. Now for Andy. There's a shady scale here. We're up a pound this week. That's incredible for how hard we've been working. That, that's even possible. So I feel like we're bound to get some big numbers in the, in the next couple of weeks. You heard right. He gained a pound. Really not an answer. I'm mean, quite disappointed. But, you know, I mean, I'll get better. It's just going to have to, you know, you can't push it. It seems Andy's cold did him in. Something's off. Um, like I said, the sickness could have something to do with it, but I, I think we're in a pretty good place. It gives us, you know, kind of a boot in the rear end to, to really up this thing and get going because we only got two more to go. And it seems some celebrating has been going on. It was my son's first birthday, so, I, you know, I did have a, a piece of cake. Give me a piece of cake. But that was, that was it. I had a birthday last week, and, uh, uh, beer was drunk, nachos were consumed. Um, it didn't qualify as a uh, dietetic uh, yeah, in any way, shape, or form. I did drink on the weekend, so that's something I just have to stop completely. Maybe that's slowing my system. I don't know. It could be. So I mean, that would be my one confession. I mean, my confession. Well, enough of the bad stuff. Month two is starting, and both the team and the trainers are ready to take it on. I just feel like it sets us up even better for the next month because I think we're guaranteed a much bigger number. But I feel stronger. I can see some muscle definition already, and I haven't seen a muscle in a long time. So, um, and I just, I just feel like I, I can, I can do more, and I'm just more fit overall. We're not losing a lot of weight yet. We're, we're just becoming, you know, something more than couch potatoes, which is. <laughs> Uh, in its own way, uh, an achievement. Up next, food. The challengers start a home delivery service, adding a healthy diet to their rigorous workout schedule. See you then.